let me get to the iceberg. What does the iceberg look like in the stock market? Well, above the waterline, we have our brand. What we are actually building when you are starting to grow your idea into a product or service is a brand. What does it mean actually? A brand is something recognizable, like all the big brands that you know that have spent decades uh, of time to build up that knowledge that people now have about this brand, which means like when you say, well, I have shoes from this and this company, everybody else will know them as well. And they will know the quality that you can expect and they will know the values that are standing behind that and all of these puzzle pieces that are coming actually out of this one fact that you trust in a certain company to deliver you what you are expecting to get. That's a brand. And when you are new, when you're starting out something new, you have to build a reputation. Maybe that's another word for a brand where you are starting uh, out when you are you know, on a green field when there's nothing there before. And of course we stand in for our brands, for our ideas with our name. So it's very much connected to you as a person. And we have to build that trust with a market so that this brand can shine. Below the waterline, we have a lot of topics that are very complex. And I just want to mention three of them here. We talked about brand. So positioning your brand is the very first topic that you have to somehow tackle. And with positioning your brand, you are also having a positioning of your product or service in the sense of this research that you're doing here to find that open space that you uh, may have in a market and that you're trying to find out through the feasibility studies that we are doing together in the collaboration and co-creation. This influences the way you shape and form your product and services. So there's a lot of research and a lot of feedback loops you have to get through to be able to get answers to those questions. Target group is of course in the center. Who is this person that you are serving as the questions you can't escape have already told us. And the next step to that is the reachability in the sense of, can you actually talk to these people? Where can you find these people? How can you inform these people that you have identified about your product or service about that offer, that solution that you have to solve their problem. That's what it is about, right? Communication. And that's also the next part of it. We have to be able to communicate with our target market to be able to grow. And ultimately it's about product market fit. That's the key. Whenever you ask someone, in the startup area who has invested into new ventures and ask them for the one success factor, that's what they will tell you. What does it mean? Of course, it means that you are actually finding the people you can sell your solution to. 